On episode three of this season's contender, we saw a potential star in the making in Jailton Almeida. He had a really tough fight against Nazardin Nazardinov. And he said, Nazardin coming from Dagestan, he said, I have the Khabib style. The Brazilian Jailton Almeida said, I have the Khabib style and I'm going to go out there and smash. And I thought, this is crazy because he's going up against the Dagestani. But that is exactly what he did. From the moment he walked out here, he put a hole in the wall because he kicked the door so roughly. Then he got in the octo and he took him down immediately, pounded him out, got a submission in the very, very first round. Then he danced his way through the octagon. The man is a star. He's got tons of charisma and Dana White absolutely loves this guy. Now, he'll be in action on the 5th of February going up against Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Danilo Marquez. This is a fight that you've got to tune in for. Will Jalton I mean, prove to be the star that I think he can be or will the experience of Danilo Marquez pay off? By the way, if you didn't see that debut, Jalton I mean, on episode three, take a look at this tape. Hey. Almeida in the red trunks. Nasruddin, Nasruddinov in the blue. Oh, Look at wow. This. Is, is, that's great. Quick what shot. A, fantastic shot, yeah, but more importantly, the element of surprise. But still, you want to be careful when you clinch a Sambo master because look at that. Even though Jalton was in the, you know, the controlling position, boom. Nice little wizard kick kind of gets in control. Yeah, I like the thought. I like the mental game of, no, no, I'm going to come out here and shoot on you. And it was a beautiful shot. But as you say, Sambo incorporates so much of that judo. And you, I mean, you saw it right there. He's like, no, 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 brother, brother. This is not, Ka this <laughs> no, is no, not you don't Khabib do this. style. <laughs> this is Khabib style. Almeida has the, he's so long. He actually has the left arm of Nasruddinov controlled yeah. here. So they're very much in a stalemate right now. I mean. And, and if it wasn't for the fence, Jalti could almost roll yes. him left, roll him to his and back sweep. and actually get on top. Yeah. But as we see, the fence is there. Sometimes your best friend or your worst enemy. If he can hang on, this might result in a stalemate stand-up, though. But he's a, wow, nice. able to get back up. Very good. Yeah, really good work. And he listen, he is not trying to disengage. He's trying to get the takedown. You've got to respect that. He said, nah, I ain't intimid intimidated by this. I'm going to take you down, buddy. And he's a much taller fighter, so easier to elevate your opponent against the cage in these positions. Get those leg reaps. Nice little foot stomp. Got to watch that. And for Almeida, his last oh, four fights. Nice. Oh, a big slam. Hey, this is huge for him. And he's on top now. He's kind of got the back. Just needs to get the hands free and do some damage. I mean, if he gets that right hand free now, bang, 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 all day to the head. Because look, he's right there. Was saying that Almeida's last four fights have all been grappling bouts. Oh, he's been working. Oh, my goodness. He's under the neck. He's got a hook in. He's got to get that second hook in. Got to get full control. Almost had it. Eight submission wins for Almeida in his professional career. As Nasruddin looks to turn, Almeida needs to continue to follow the back in order to keep this position and look to get that other hook in. That's going to really secure the back right here. I think his frame is really giving him problems, Michael. I mean, he's just such, just such a bigger fighter than Nasruddinov is. Yeah, but he messed up there. He, he was kind of off balance and just kind of accepted the position, just kind of rolled to his back and... It's not where you want to be. Not right now. Not with Nazardin on top of you. Now look at that. Isolates an arm with the shin. Under two minutes to go here in the first round of our featured bout. Elevates him well with the ball fly now it's time for Nazaruddinov to try and get some shots off. Those long legs of Jalten Amida be problematic for him. I think he's waiting to throw a nice up kick. Oh, he's looking to cost He's looking to get a single leg here. Is Almeida or come out the back? Yeah, I think he made a mistake there. He was trying to go for something slight, trying to attack the legs. We see him there. Still trying though. Still trying to do that. Hey, he believes in his submission attacks though. The knee is not in trouble here. It's passed and it's out. 
Nicely defended. Look at that. I mean, that says that Nazruddinov wasn't yes. overly, you know, happy Not with those exchanges. He's like, OK, get up. You're far too annoying down there, going for my legs and my limbs. How dare you? Oh, oh heavy low kick. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, Jaiten's looking good. Oh, beautiful outside trip from Almeida as well. I am so impressed with his wrestling, Michael. Taking the fight to this guy, beating him in his own style so far, and putting it on Nazruddinov in a big way. Aurelia, no no car. Again, in case you were wondering, coming into the fight, Almeida plus 175, Nazardinov minus 210. Look at that. And back again, down on the double. Oh, wow. Just gets another one. That's great work. Fight. Almeida is put together, though. My goodness. Uh, you, know, you know, if I take my shirt off, that's exactly what I look like. <laughs> it's funny. I've seen you fight with your shirt off before. I don't remember <laughs> that. Oh, oh flying knees. But straight into a body lock and straight back down to the mat. And again, a really good advantageous position for Almeida. Almost identical to round one. Third takedown of the fight for Almeida. He's going to try and get the second hook in. It's a little... The angle isn't right there. He's going to try and get right over. He's trying to do it. There it is. Nice work. Got to stick those toes in there, not the heel. Try and get the hook all the way in, then flatten him out. Nasruddin blocking that hook, though, almost to the point where he could potentially spin, but the way that Almeida has Nasruddin's shoulders controlled, it's keeping him from being able to spin either way back into him and be on top. Now, Almeida was actually supposed to have already made his UFC debut, but had visa issues, so he has been on the cusp for quite some time now. Got that hook in, did Almeida. That's big. Yeah, he's going to flatten him out now. If he's going to flatten him out, this could be the end. He's trying to get the choke. Look at this. Looks like he has Guys, that's in. at this. That's in. And what a squeeze he'll have. Switch palm to palm. Oh, that's it. Unbelievable. Jayutone Almeida with his 14th professional win has been on the cusp of the UFC for quite some time, and you can see the emotion pouring out into the octagon. Nazardinov jumps in, flying knee. I respect that. He's trying. Gets the clinch, gets the body lock, puts him down, goes to work. Took a while to get the second hooking, but then when he did, flattened him out, took the choke. And you can see from the, you know, the build on this man, the strength that he must have. And then there it is, gets on him, gets palm to palm, and he's squeezing with everything. And Nazruddinov, undefeated, came in at 9-0. Big reputation, came in as the favorite, but goes home the loser. Well done, Jalton Almeida. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 49 seconds into round number two, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the fight. For your winner, by submission, due to rear naked choke, Jayutone Almeida!